Teachers, especially English teachers, are so important to me. When I was in the seventh and eighth grade, I had a teacher named Miss Powers who served as my mentor and she was a support system. I learned so much from her about writing and about myself and she encouraged me in a lot of different external projects as well as projects within the classroom. Um, she really was more than a teacher. She was kind of like a forever friend in my heart. I just learned so much from her and I really appreciated the relationship that we had and how much she helped me when I was younger. One of my all-time favorite teachers is Ms. Patty Atkinson Batista, who taught history at my high school. Not only did she share her passion for the subject with her students, but she took the time to get to know them and make sure each one of them knew she cared about their well-being. After college, she took me to dinner to celebrate a teaching fellowship I had received, and she continues to cheer me on today on Facebook. I know I speak for many of her students when I say I am so grateful to have met her. Thank you to all the teachers out there. We appreciate you immensely. The teacher who really stands out to me is my ninth grade English teacher, Mrs. Banks. I had her again in 12th grade for a class I didn't even know was possible in high school, a creative writing workshop. She had us writing every day, freeform poetry in class, uh, short stories, playing around with styles and perspectives. And she was just so inspiring the way she would speak to us like we were real writers about to go out into the world. And I will never forget that. So thank you, Mrs. Banks and all other teachers who connect and inspire their students every day. I was lucky enough to have a lot of amazing teachers in my life, but my favorite was my middle school history teacher, Mr. Keeper, who always pushed us to think critically. My favorite day in his class was when he lectured on ancient Greek wars, if you can believe it. All he did was stand up there and talk. The most tech he had was one of those old fashioned projectors and a marker, but for a solid hour, he had a room full of 14 year olds absolutely mesmerized. That's when I understood the power a great teacher could have. They could take even the most arcane subject and turn it into something magical. So thank you to all of the teachers who make magic for their students every day. For me, the two teachers who had the biggest impact in my life are my parents, Mr. and Mrs. B, both third grade teachers, one at a public school and one at a private school. Growing up, they'd give me the same books to read as they gave their students and the same hundred question multiplication worksheets too. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know firsthand after watching my parents work after school and on weekends, how hard teachers work both inside and outside of the classroom to help students learn. We appreciate all you do to help grow the minds of the next generation. Thank you, teachers. In fifth grade, my advanced reading teacher, Ms. Ryan, changed my life. I'd always been a reader, but through stories from Lois Lowry and Edgar Allan Poe, she taught me the foundations of literary analysis and critical thinking, and how to talk about literature in a meaningful way. She truly nurtured my skills, and I really have her to thank for making me the avid and thoughtful reader I am today. I'm so grateful I had someone like her in my life, and I'm incredibly thankful for all the dedicated educators out there making huge impacts. I recently found this 20 year old note from her, which made me even more aware of her lasting impression. So my seventh grade English teacher, Mr. Z, assigned us a research project about Shakespeare. I was given the topic makeup in Shakespeare's plays while other students were given topics like the role of anti-Stratfordians and the Globe Theater. I was frustrated because I was struggling to find a lot of information about my topic and so I addressed this with Mr. Z and he told me, well Berquist, I knew you could handle it. Thank you, Mr. Z, for always pushing me out of my comfort zone, and thank you to all of the teachers that do the same for your students. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. The teacher that I remember most was my uh, 11th grade English teacher, Mr. Obadiah. He really focused a lot on expanding our vocabulary and developing our critical reading skills. Uh, he was also just really funny and personable. At the end of the year, he wrote all of his students' notes in these beautiful hardcover notebooks and in mine he was really personable about how he believed that I would be a writer and that as long as I never gave up I would achieve my dreams so thank you Mr. Obadiah and thank you for all of my teachers who got me here today as well as all the teachers out there doing the best work that you can.